Aiden. I have a fresh list of book locations for you. Was that Alice's Adventures in Wonderland you brought back? Do you consider the library your Wonderland now? I don't know about that, but it's a definite change of pace. I bet. I would imagine, like Alice's journeys, yours are disorienting. And you're probably surrounded by no small amount of madness. You seem immune to such afflictions. Seem, I say. But... but are you really, Aiden? Do you ever get close to losing it? Of course. I mean, we all have our moments, right? I know I do. Sometimes it's all I can do not to fling myself off the nearest balcony. I do that all the time. It's... it's kind of my job. But yeah, I get down sometimes. And I just get over it. Well, I, I let myself feel bad, but I can't afford to wallow either. Stifling your feelings can be dangerous too, Aiden. Yeah, maybe. But that's just how I'm wired. I'm off. See you next time. <laughs> I'll be counting the hours. them. It's incredible. Let, let's see. No one wrote adventure like Jules Verne. Around the world in 80 days. Journey to the center of the earth. And of course, 20,000 leagues under the sea. Did you know that in the Nautilus, he predicted many features of modern submarines? <laughs> A man ahead of his time. You'll be interested to know that in Plato's Republic, Socrates argues in defense of the connection between a just life and a happy life. Ah, if only such a sentiment could break through the cracks of our society and flower once more. You know, Aiden, I truly believe you deserve to be immortalized for your efforts to preserve the precious resource of human literature. I truly do. 
As probably does Thalia. Go ask her. <laughs> 